Hi everyone, relatively quick video today. I wanted to show you something that I've recently printed on my Mars Pro. So, a few weeks ago I was digging around on Thingiverse and on my mini factory trying to find some files that I could use to print off a TIE Fighter. Didn't really mind um, what type of TIE Fighter, I just wanted to be able to use it for Star Wars Legion, either for terrain or just for something cool to display. And after a little bit of digging and a little bit of experimenting with some files, um, I was very disappointed. I, I found that the free ones either lacked detail or didn't really fit to well, together very well and after printing off a couple I thought I'm going to have to spend so much time and effort um, using green stuff or filler to fill in the, uh, the imperfections or the inconsistencies that actually it wouldn't be worth the time I'd spent. So I had a little bit of a closer look at some um, designers who I've actually seen recommended quite a bit online and whose work I've admired for a long time and I had a little bit of money sat in my PayPal account so I thought you know what it's Christmas I deserve a treat so I went ahead and I bought the Imperial Squadron pack from Darkfire Designs now this pack includes um, STL files for a, a TIE Fighter regular style a TIE Interceptor and also a TIE Outlander which um, if you watch The Mandalorian that's the one where the wings that fold in the center and so it can land directly on the ground and not only do these come in um, the files are available for designed for resin printers they're also designed for filament printers as well and what particularly caught my eye is that he's done some slightly smaller versions so the wings are slightly shorter so that they can fit on smaller printers like an Elegoo Mars otherwise as I found with a lot of the Thingiverse um, designs I'd actually be losing parts of the wing and it just wouldn't look as good so I downloaded the files, there's a lot of files in there and you have to kind of sift through them and I printed them off and in total I think um, the wings were the longest, they were printed at 0.08 layer height, um, so slightly larger layer height than I would normally, although looking at it you can't tell. They took about 14 hours to print. The fuselage, fuselage sections pointed at 0.05 layer height which I actually probably could ramp up to 0.08 and um, they took about seven or eight hours and then the little bits and pieces here they were printed at 0.05 layer height and they took about four hours and I made sure I filled up the build plate so I had some alternative bits and pieces in there as well what's quite good with this set is that it actually includes um, parts that you can use clear resin with so you can actually print the glass to go in the front of the TIE Fighter. You can print the glass to go in the top of the hatch and it all fits together. I printed it off using regular grey resin then realised actually it's not right. So I might, it might be something I revisit in the future but for now I'm pretty happy with it. It comes with um, options for the bottom. So for the bottom you can either use the solid disc or you can actually use a disc which is compatible with the Games Workshop flight stand so that you can stand it up on the table and make it look like it's flying. Something I might consider doing. And altogether, if you look at it, and some of my favorite parts are the, the wings here. The details on the wings are absolutely fantastic, even at 0.08 millimeter layer height. You can see, nice, very, very nice texture on that. You can see all, all the workings and some of the wiring. And admittedly, on these, I was a little bit heavy handed with um, the post print um, cleanup, and these there's meant to be sort of like wire bits coming along in the inside here. And I actually managed to scrub those away with a brush. You can see some of the bits here have come away where I've been a bit overzealous with it. But that said, the amount of detail on these is absolutely amazing. And when you put them together, even when you just start sort of like dry fitting them, they start to look fantastic. So another good thing about these designs as well, actually, that I noticed is the level of thought which has gone into it. So you've got holes here and here where you can insert the hatch. Sorry, trying to do this without looking is a bit of a trick. So 
So you can have the hatch closed. If you don't glue the hatch, then you can have the hatch actually open and close with the model. On the back here, you've got a very clever sort of like smiley face. Inserts, clips in exactly. And the closer you look at it, you see that the joins are all covered by something else. So actually, once it's all together, you can't really see where the joins are. The base here, you'd put your either your flight stand or your regular stand. And before you know it, you've pretty much got the fighter assembled. It's absolutely fantastic. And then that goes in the front there. And your wings go on. I, can't, I haven't got enough hands to hold this, but you can get the idea. This is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this up, and I might try to do a bit of a tutorial for it as well. But thanks for watching, and be sure to check out this guy's designs because he doesn't just do fighter ships, like spaceships. He does, um, well, I should say he doesn't just do TIE fighters. He's got Y wings on there. He's got X wings, fully posable X wings. He's got... Um, all sorts of stuff. His biggest design is actually from the um, Attack of the Clones, the gunship, the clone dropship, gunship, whatever it is. He does one of those. It's fantastic. He does miniatures as well. Um, he's got some very, very good looking Mandalorian figures on there. Um, all the characters from the recent series, within a few days, he seems to be producing them. Um, his favourite one that he's done recently, actually, I think he's done some Dark Troopers with a uh, mystery Jedi cutting them to pieces. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that um, I'm relatively frugal when it comes to buying files because otherwise I would just be throwing all my money at this guy. Absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend checking him out. Um, so I'll leave it here. Definitely have to leave it here and I'm kicking the camera. And when I've done this and I've put a bit more together, I'll come back and I'll show you a bit more. Cheers. Speak to you all soon. Hi, everyone. I know I said I was going to look at doing a painting guide for this, but I never got the chance. I started assembling the model, got a bit carried away, and before you knew it, I'd done too much to bother starting a painting guide. Um, I will do another one. Um, the kit is absolutely fantastic put together, and I'm even more impressed with it now than I was when I originally printed it. So when I do that, I will do a proper um, painting tutorial. But just as sort of like a quick guide, I sprayed it with black um, spray paint that I get from Halfords. I then gave it a dry brush, um, no sorry, used my airbrush to spray the whole thing with Vallejo Black Grey, dry brushed everything with London Grey, gave it a coat of Nuln Oil, after the Nuln Oil I used London Grey again just to sort of like start going back with highlights, added in a little bit of Vallejo Light Grey and then finally a little bit of white just as the sort of like extreme top highlight. Did that over everything, absolutely everything. After I finished that, I came back and I painted the panels here with um, Vallejo Black Grey again. I may give them a wash of Null Oil, I'm not really too sure, I think they look okay like they do. Um, I don't want to overcomplicate things. I then picked out some of the details um, on the wings, just sort of like wiring, just to give it a little bit more detail. Um, I printed a pilot as well who is inside, I don't know if you can see him in there. Just about make him out, give or take. I might try and get a close up for you in a minute. Um, but that was just spray painted black and then dry brushed, really. I didn't even bother painting him much because you can't really see him in there. But it looks it looks alright. Um, on the wings, you can see I've just added some green, red, um, on, more so on, if I flip them over this way, more so on these bits, some green and red details, just to sort of try add a little bit of extra on there. Um, I considered maybe doing some more on the front of the fighter, um, but I've kind of got some other ideas on what I might do um, one day, so I'm, I've not painted anything yet. I might paint these bits silver rather than bright green, just so it doesn't look like they're powered up. But it is a really, really nice kit, and it looks fantastic. I went with the um, flying base option because this one, unfortunately, if you try to put it down, it's very front heavy. So it wouldn't stand up on its own. So I'm going to need a flying base to support it. But if we go have a look, we can see just the level of detail on the wings. 
It's come out really nicely with a dry brush. It's picked up all the details very well. Um, a couple of edges around here where I need, might need to repaint. After going over it with the black grey. And inside. If I bring that closer. You can see the pile in there, can't you? It's all very black inside, so I think what one of the learning points I take from this is that um, when I do it again, I don't want to assemble um, the hull before I've painted inside a little bit. Um, but of course, you can't really see in there, so it doesn't really matter too much. Lots of nice detail on the hatch. That's picked up the dry brushing very, very nicely. Um, I might put some weathering on it, although I'm not really too too keen to do much more to this one I think this one I might call this version one and then see what I can do to it I was thinking as well actually you could put some um, fishing wire through the hatch there and hang it from the ceiling I have glued the hatch down simply because I've got no need to open it so the hatch is glued down but it just it looks absolutely fantastic I love this as I mentioned in the previous video there is a regular tie fighter that can be printed for the same, the same kit and there is also a Thai Outlander, so I might give one of those two a go next and um, print them off. But it's amazing, I absolutely love it, I think it's brilliant. Um, check the guy out as well, it's Darkfire Designs. Um, I will try to remember to put a link to his Gumroad account on, my, on the video. So if anyone wants to go there and check out all his stuff, it's, it's brilliant. And as I mentioned before, it's not just vehicles he does miniatures as well that can use, be used as proxies for Star Wars Legion. So thank you for watching and I'll add some stills and hope everyone has enjoyed watching this video. Cheers.